Mom! Mom! Ricky, what's wrong, sweetheart? Have you just had a bad dream? No. Oh, Michael. Everything's gonna be okay now. I'm here. Tell me what happened. It was beautiful. It was blue, it was green. It was full of colour. It felt good. Very good. What's that you've got, Mum? It's a very special story. Some places on this earth are so beautiful, it is hard to imagine just how lovely they are. I have seen the colours of the sky where the blue never ends. This milky bed of clouds dancing in the air. Everything from the sky looks magical. Mountains, lakes, trees, houses. It all looks like an anthill in motion. When it starts to rain, the magnificent bow of colours illuminates the sky. Water moves and reflects colours to become green. Blue. But it doesn't just reflect colours, it also forms different patterns in which everyone can see something different. Water can take different forms. High up in the mountains, the flowing liquid freezes and transforms the scenery into a whole new world. White pyramids and frozen lakes appear, making the landscape look even more beautiful. It is only a few adventurous people who would risk hiking on the frozen slopes. Nature rules our rhythm, and when the sky darkens, it is time to set the camp and enjoy a well-deserved long night. Mum, what happens the next day? Does the snow ever melt? Yes, sweetheart. This is what happens. A brand new day shines, and it is after sleeping for almost one year that the snow and ice lakes begin to thaw. Bubbling, moving and melting, water gets ready for a long journey. Following its cycle, water showers down the rocks and flows along the steep slopes of mountains to end up in rivers and rapids.
Rapids are strong rivers that can only be crossed by a bridge. If anyone tried to swim across, the strong current would sweep them away like a piece of tree trunk. What would happen to the tree trunk if it floats on the river, Mum? Wait, wait, listen. That's coming. Now it's time for the water to go back to where it belongs. After its long journey spent in mountains and rivers, it eventually reaches steep and narrow fjords. The vegetation is much thicker, transforming the whole landscape into a frightening vast jungle where the only exit is the sea. What is the sea? Is it like a swimming pool? Mm, well, yes, more or less. It's like a gigantic swimming pool. Now, wait and listen to the rest of the story. The sea. What a beautiful place to be. A combination of endless water and sky separated by the horizon. But nothing is endless. Soon there is land where people have found a safe and peaceful place to stay. In this little paradise, Everyone lives in harmony with nature. Birds. Dogs. And fishermen who have built small and pretty cabins of the colour of strawberries. Nearby is another peaceful place, a vast expanse of sand called the beach, which blends the land and sea together. It's also a wonderful place to camp and enjoy the endless sound of the rolling waves. People have chosen to live there. I 
isolated from the rest of the world, raising sheep and fishing are the main occupations of people in these lost lands. The boat is the most common type of transport to move from one island to another. At the end of the day, the sky takes on all the colours of a paint palette and fades slowly into the night. Is that the end of the story, Mum? Hmm, almost. But there is one more chapter to come, and the most beautiful. There are only a few places on Earth when, during summertime, the sun never sets. Norway is one of them. It is the most beautiful but also the most bizarre sight in the world. The sun shining at night. When looking in one direction, the sun is there bright and warm. But when looking in the other, the moon, cold and enormous, rolls slowly along the horizon. Sunset and sunrise are facing each other. Nature is beautiful, but never forget, nothing is endless. Yes, darling? Is that a true story? Who wrote it? Yes, it is. Your granddad wrote it a long time ago.